Hello again. So many things been happening this week. You know, America almost went to war with China. China almost tried to blow up Taiwan. But all of that is not significant enough like this story here. Hollywood couple Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson has split up. Media report says this is written by Reuters. So, if Reuters, the global news network, is focusing on Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian breakup, it is a big deal. So, first off, I want to say congratulations to Pete Davidson. Congratulations to Pete Davidson for escaping the Kim Kardashian trap. <laughs> I'm happy for him. It's not easy, uh, but it is the best, the best decision he has made, and um, I'm going to talk about it. But I was want to start with. I'm not an enemy. Of Kim Kardashian, I'm. I don't hate them. I in fact love Kim Kardashian and his and her family. Um, I didn't like Kanye with Kim Kardashian. To be honest with you, I really didn't like that. Um, but I do like their story, the Kim the Kardashian story, Kim Kardashian story, the mother, the father, um. They are very interesting people. So, Pete Davidson, uh, came into her life recently after she divorced her husband Kanye West, and then, you know, it's a very dramatic. It's a very drama kind of relationship, and I was surprised that Pete Davidson could, you know, have so much patience, have so much so much patience and. To endure this this long, I think six months. I think the relationship is about six or nine months, um, but it's long enough. You know, it's smart enough for him to make the decision. Now, uh, yes, he is lucky to escape. He is lucky because, to be honest, um, Kim Kardashian, her power. In fact, I was I was talk about their power. The Kardashian family has very strong, powerful aura about them. I think that's why people can't get enough of them. People keep wanting to get more news about them. People want to watch TV shows about them. No matter how many, you know, no matter how many shows they come up with, people will watch. And I attribute that. To the fact that I think they have very strong aura, I know it's a it's like charisma and aura. There's something about this family that is so enchanting that people just want to watch. People says that this is the American royalty, but no, I I'm gonna go deeper into why I think this is a phenomena in America right now because everybody can't get enough of them. No matter how smart you say you are, no matter how, how um how rich you are, no matter no matter what you think yourself as a, as a top, you know the rich kind of people, everybody likes to pay attention to the Kardashians because they have a very strong pull, and not just uh for attention from the world, everybody. I think everybody in the world knows about them. Uh, that have internet and whatnot, they know about them. But I think I think just this attraction also goes to the woman, especially Kim Kardashian. She has a strong pull that not a lot of men can escape. So we get um, her, this is like. Kanye West is uh, was her second husband. She had a uh, I think Chris, I I can't remember the first husband's name. It was such a very short marriage, but she has a lot of 
she been she knows a lot of men, and she's a type of person. I think even recently she said it openly that the reason she hook up with Pete Davidson because she wants to have sex. She's very that's how liberal they are. The Kardashian are they just straight say it outright. You know, I just want to have sex. That's how they got together, and somehow they fall in love. But deeper than love, I think is just that sexual pull of Kim Kardashian. You see, Kim Kardashian compared to Pete Davidson, I think Pete Davidson in his twenties, right? In his twenties, Kim Kardashian in her forties, man. You know, it's like if you think about it logically. Regard, re, regardless of what her body looks like, it's all plastic already. You know, she have done surgery on her body, on her face. Everything is surgery. Surgery. He still Pete Davidson is still pulled to her, like an older woman, and you. Some people say this love and what not. I went. They got together. I know it's gonna be a drama, because with their ex husband Kanye was going crazy about her, and at the same time, I think she, I think Pete Davidson just wanted to experience what it is about the Kardashian about Kim. So, I have a theory. <laughs> I think this special, this kind of people, it's not her. I mean, I mean this. Aura that I'm talking talking about, it's not just just her in the whole world. There are a lot of women like this. There are a lot of women who are who have this aura and energy that can attract men, that can pull men towards them. It's no joke. It's like quicksand. I have to say the word. It's like a quicksand. It's so difficult for you. To escape them, if you're a guy, it's so difficult for anybody to escape their pull. That is why I I started with congratulations to Pete Davidson because I think because he's young, because he's also a player, he's been with a lot of women before this. He's managed to see early on to capture early on the dangers or the the truth about Kim Kardashian that. Kanye did not. Kanye has children with her, with children, a lot of children with her, and Kanye is the cock. Let's be honest with it. Even Kanye, even Kanye talk about it openly, and I know, I know, a lot of people do not want to mention it. He's a cuckold. She's and Kanye has been mentioning it that, that she's been cheating on him. Uh, she travels a lot. She's been cheating on him. She's been, and they op. I mean, Kanye openly tells that you know people can say Kanye is going crazy. Kanye is trying to smear, um, his wife's name. But I don't think that's that's the truth because Kanye really tried to make the relationship happen. I know, um, Kanye was in love with her, but, um. She is con- in control of their relationship, even though they have the picture of of him being the arrogant asshole. But she maintained that relationship. She maintained the children. They have four, f- four children, five children, a lot of children together. <clears throat> that means she knows. She knows is he's the nest. She did not have children with the other man in her life. She doesn't, she doesn't go into that. But she has Kanye, right where she wanted him. And a lot of people keep wanting Kanye to leave the family, to leave the Kardashian, but he couldn't. People were saying that uh, Kanye West was going crazy. People doesn't know he's so depressed and whatnot. But people doesn't know. People doesn't get what why he's behaving like that because Kanye West. Regardless of what people say, people just trying to cover up their relationship by saying that uh, he's depressive, he's uh, having going through mental health problem, and but I talking to if you go to black media, 
black media in America, they have so many theories. I think Kanye is in the same situation as um, Will Smith in a, in a way that they are being cuckold by their wives. Uh, when you are being cuckold, even though Americans keep saying that they are op- over it, they are open-minded, they are okay about it, they are liberal, but you know that is not the truth because a man is a man. If their ego is still an ego, and for them to be okay with something like your wife being fucking around, it just doesn't make any sense unless you are forced to be in that situation and cannot escape. I think that's what happened to Will Smith until today. He cannot live. He cannot live. He cannot live. Jada Smith. You know, same as Kanye. Kanye does cannot live. Cannot live. Uh, Kim Kardashian until the very end. I know. I know. He keep saying that I am divorcing her. I am make keep dating Julia Fox and whatnot. But he 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 is he was attempting to escape Kim Kardashian by doing all this tantrum and by doing all this crazy thing. But Kim knows. Kim knows the extent of her power. That's why she entertained him when Kanye was doing a concert in Florida and whatnot. She she went along with it. She even went on stage and married him on stage. You know, for her. It's like this. She is in control of everything, so she plays along, because Kanye cannot forget her. They are women like this. They are women like this, and when Kanye cannot is dependent on her at approval, then the very truth of it is her approval. That's why Kanye is going crazy slowly and slowly because she cannot. He he tries to accept that. Okay, so I fuck around also, but my wife is fucking around also. It's okay. We are both doing it. I think they have that agreement early on, but internally, he was suffering, and that's how friends around him keep telling him divorce Kim Kardashian, but he couldn't. For a long while, he could not leave Kim Kardashian because Kim Kardashian always already has him in her grasp. You know, it's crazy. I know this kind of woman. I'm not blaming them at all. They are born with it. They have this kind of aura. They can, they can pull you. You know, you cannot control them. You know, they you Kanye never control. I don't. I don't think Kanye ever control. I think Kim control Kanye West as a source of uh, prestige because Kanye West is a genius. He's a musician. He's a musical genius. He's also a fashion genius, with Yeezy and all the brand. He's a brilliant guy, and she has control over him, you know. And I never. This is not her fault. She's basically a, the one of the smartest woman in show business. So she used that. She used that. And Kanye makes a good kakul because I mean, I'm sorry that I keep bringing up the word kakul because but that's what they were. Because Kanye openly tells people that, you know, the wife is cheating on her, on him, with other men. Uh, but like any kako, she Kanye West at one point needed that kind of relationship. He needed that kind of relationship. Even the, he's being the docile husband, until friends were coming to see him, can break break up with her, break up with her. Um. Uh, finally, he they divorce because it's it's going to be bad on her, on his reputation. He was being banned by Instagram and whatnot, being called a crazy person. They are trying to paint him as a violent man. And because the more he reacts with Kim Kardashian in a negative way, the more he will be tarnished by the media. But so far. Because he, I think he made an agreement with Kim Kardashian. I will be, I will shut my mouth. I will shut down all this kind of, you're a bad woman or whatnot. Please stop hurting me. Okay, so they have that agreement, that is now in enforced. So they meet very cordially, ah, uh, very friendly. No more drama between Kanye and Kim Kardashian. So. 
Now Pete Davidson, they, she just he moved she moved on very fast. Even before the divorce is final, that's what that's what Kanye was going crazy about. Kanye was saying that she's still my wife, and Pete Davidson was fighting back. Oh yeah, I was in bed with your wife. Kind of that kind that go back and forth. They had a few 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 months back. It was driving Kanye crazy. Um, but Pete Davidson wanted to try it. Pete Davidson wanted to try her. And I have this, this, this kind of understanding about Pete because he's been sleeping around with the biggest beautiful woman in Hollywood, Ariana Grande, Kate Beckinsale. You can name a few others that they've been with Pete Davidson. So even Kim, even Kim Kardashian said uh, Pete Davidson have BDE, big dick energy. So. In Malay, in Malay, they call it buku bertemu ruas. Um, what it means is, she meets her match. They are equally match uh, between Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian, and it lasted for six months because something has to give. And I respect Pete. For one thing, okay, Kim Kardashian mission when she has Pete Davidson. Is to put him under her spell. You know, yeah. You start to see Pete Davidson changing his style. He started to wear in tuxedo. He's changed her. All of that when you see when when they went to the Met Gala where she wear the Marilyn Monroe dress, and she and Pete Davidson was wearing um, tuxedo and whatnot. That is not his style. That is from Kim. Kim was controlling him, but what not? But Pete Davidson was trying to assert his authority, also trying to assert his independence. Uh, not trying to get hooked, you know. Not trying to get hooked by her. And I thought, after six months, you know, after three months or four months, I thought Pete Davidson has lost, has lost that struggle. And really, she has him under her control. She has him under her control. But I also believe that when that happened, she when when Pete Davidson was got under her control, she got bored of him. So six months is the classic. It's a classic six month thing, or three month, or six month, or nine month. This kind of people, they will get bored easily once they have you under their control. Once they have you under their control, divorce. It becomes an annoying thing. You no longer becoming that favorite lover, that favorite partner, that somebody I can look up to. No, she she can't see that anymore. The moment Pete Davidson fall fall under her spell, become very weak. That's when she got bored. She got bored of him. That's what Kanye, Kanye West, Kanye West understand this because the hood. She's from the hood. People, they have people like this, in all cultures, in all community. There are women who are like this. They have nothing negative about them. I'm not saying negative about Kim Kardashian here. They have that pull over men. That once you get hook, it's like a game for them. The moment you get hooked, they will get bored of you. The moment you are, you got under their spell, they are already bored of you. Unless they see a use for you, you have a very useful, you are rich, you are blah, 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 they will keep you around. But the moment you give in, they are bored of you. So that's why at one point Kanye West moved to his farm in the middle of, middle of America, Oregon and whatnot, Wyoming, just because he wanted to create this gap. Thinking that she will miss him, she will submit to him, you know, a very very typical Afro American male want that they, he wants her to be the traditional wife. So if you see the the previous the last last of the Kardashians episode when they were still married, 
he was trying to assert his authority, trying to say, "Oh, you cannot wear this much. You are my wife. You are you are supposed to. You are mother. You are in your forties. You are to be. You are. I don't want you to see you in wearing hot dress." And she fights back. When she fights back, you go and watch that episode where he tried to say to assert his authority to advise Kim not to wear sexy dress. You see how she fights back. When she fights back like that, she doesn't have any respect for him anymore. No, res- you must understand. It, women and men will fight in in a, in a marriage, but they are fighting in front of a TV show, man. That really hit him, his ego, you know, to fight in front, not just the in their house in their room, but in front of a TV crew. That is so embarrassing for any man, any woman. If the woman get fight, you know, it's in public. You don't fight in public, man. They are fighting in front of a TV crew that will broadcast their fighting to the whole world. She doesn't care at this point. She knows it. She knows it, but she wants it because she knows he will be hurt. He will be ashamed. He will be ridiculed in front. If he overreacts, if he scream at her or punch her. Or Hit her at that point, his career will be over. Kanye West's career will be over. So at that point, Kanye decided, okay, this is not working. So he's trying to figure out, go to Wisconsin or whatnot to the farm, wanting to, want still wanting her to submit to him. But that's not going to happen with people like Kim Kardashian. This kind of woman, look at the mother. The mother is the same way. You is their game. Is the queen. They are the queen. The queen on the chessboard. Why would she submit to somebody like Kanye? She will never. She will never. This is like Oprah. Oprah will never submit to her spouse. I mean, they married. She will. She will never submit. And it's not. It's not a wrong thing. It's not a sinful thing. Uh, I I don't want to get involved in religion when I talk about this, but you know it's not a bad thing. That's her. That's her character, and I don't see anything wrong with that. But the the conclusion between Kanye and Kim is that Kanye doesn't have the capability to make her that type of woman. She will not submit to Kanye. And it goes to same as Pete Davidson. She will not submit to him. And Pete Davidson is smart enough knowing that she will not submit to him. I also cannot be in this relationship. Pete Davidson always have a have a barrier between him and her, his lovers. He will not fully submit, give in. That's why he can escape. At first, I thought he cannot. But now I I was congratulating him because he finally escaped that, and that is good. That is a good thing. Okay, why? I know what I'm saying is a bit like oh, I'm, you are painting Kim Kardashian as a negative person or a um, a bad person because she does this and whatnot. No, it's not. It's just it's the character. She needs a guy like her father, not. Not the the trans trans guy the trans, who's that guy the the athlete that uh, Jenner, who trans became a woman, she does not want that kind of man. I'm talking about the real father, the lawyer that passed away a long time ago. She wants that kind of man, that was not existing in her life for a long time, and she's looking for that. She might be looking or she might not, but. If she meets that kind of person, there is the type of person that people like Kim, uh, Oprah, or even Chris Jenner, they are type of people that they are looking for, but they haven't found it. Which is somebody, a real man, that they can be themselves, be a be a be a woman, submissive woman to this kind of man. They are they are men who can do that. Not in a negative way. I'm not saying that they force him. That's why people who are brash, who are like um, Andrew Tate, for example, or Jordan Peterson, 
trying to act like they are manly. They are trying to be like a tough guys. No, no, no. I'm not talking about those people. They, they, ah, uh, they won't. They cannot be a real man. Those are just pretending to be. Uh, a, a, a show of force, a show of macho, machismo. Kim Kardashian has eaten people like that. She has eaten a lot of people like that and has spit them out. It is nothing to them. It is nothing to for Kim Kardashian. People like Andrew Tate or Dan Belzerian, all these macho. What do they call this now? Uh, alpha male. Kim Kardashian has eaten all of them and. Threw them out, threw them out. Ah, uh, she's an Armenian, you know. She's Armenian. Armenian is almost like close to a very a Turkish Arab culture, but I don't know. They have they they used to be Islamic culture. You no, know, they are from Eastern Europe, close to Bosnia, Yugoslavia, all those kind of areas. You know, the women there are are very different. I seen them. I seen the Bosnian woman. During the war, when the if when they come to Malaysia, I get to know a few of them. I was very young, but I know these people are very tough women. They are very different women. That's why when they had the war, there was so much rape in the Bosnian and Serbian war that so many bad things happened to the women there because the revenge of by the patriarchy, the machismo of the they used to live together. All the Serbians, Bosnians, they used to be f- neighbors, friendly together, and somehow, during that war, the rape happened. So much rape, because it's just a release of anger from all this community of the Serb, of the Serbians more. And that carry over. I think the whole region, the women are very strong. But they are men that they they look for, but they cannot find it in the West. You know, they are not no longer that kind of tough man that can provide that 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 kind of um, role model. You know, for them to put their hopes. You know, put their hope. Their woman can put their hope, put their trust. They, you can't find it in American men, in a Western man. Uh, no, not even Kanye West. Nothing. All of these are pretending to be gangsters and whatnot. They are all. Pretenders. That's why I said Kim Kardashian, she has eaten all this machismo. Uh, what do you call that? The a type man, the alpha males. This she has. She has seen them all. She has spit them up. Nothing to her. Plus, they don't have the skill. Plus, they don't have the skill at all to actually deal with women like Kim Kardashian or Kris Jenner or whatnot. You know, it's not they are evil. They are built very strong, very different. They are not there to, you know, to, you know, they are not there to be played with. You know, they have very strong family roots. Just say, Chris Jenner has many children, many many children. Kim Kardashian has many children. They believe in that kind of structure, and they need a man of the house, which they never had. Or who cannot deal with them in the way that will satisfy them, I think the guy, the father, the father figure that they got, where Chris Jenner, I don't know who's that guy. He transformed into a guy, ah, uh, from a guy to a girl. Oh, they are so I don't care about him so much. But I'm just touching on this. I want to make a short video about this because I find it. Very interesting that they broke up. I I lost some money because I put some money. Pete Davidson will be destroyed. Pete Davidson will be long on into that aura and die. <laughs> that moment when I saw him driving a car with the kid, I know that's a trap. I know he's already in the trap. But thankfully, he divorced. Uh, they are no break up. They are no longer together. Which is congratulations to Pete Davidson for getting out of that that relationship and whatnot. What what do you want to call it? He's so older than 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 Pete. She's so older. I mean, they are not compatible in terms of that. I only say. Are you gonna believe that? You're gonna believe that a guy like that, like Pete Davidson, who fucks around, 
who has the big dick energy. Are you going to believe that he's going to be loyal to her when she's 50 or 60? Unless Kim Kardashian got a very straight up, straight guy. Straight guy, straight as an arrow guy, you know, nerd. Of course, he won't cheat. Of course, he doesn't care about other women. But we're talking about Pete Davidson here, man. Aye, so... That's it. That's it. The, the the thing about Kim Kardashian, I'm mean, I'm I'm just saying that she's not evil at all. She's a very she's a very strong woman. That very strong woman, very conservative in her family structure. She believes in having a family. She believes in all that. But it will take the right person to actually change her. And you, he, and Kanye is not. Most of the men who comes to their to their doorstep. Or just either physically, physical people like the first husband, or Ray J, or you know Kanye. They are all just on the surface level bravado. They are not real, real guys. Like I said, the fa- the father figure. The clue is the father figure, the actual father that passed with the lawyer with the MJ about the what the murder case that happened in the eighties. He was the lawyer to that, and uh, you need then she will find that kind of guy. That kind of guy is not handsome at all. He's the father is bester, yeah. The father is a very common guy, but he has that kind of energy and capability to put to take care of that family, man. That's a lot of people doesn't doesn't go now in Hollywood. They want to be handsome. They want to have six packs. You know all the guys. If you got if just a tip before you we go, if you see a guy with a six pack, there's a chance that he's gay. If you see a guy with a six pack, there's a chance that he's gay. And if one one he's not enjoying himself, he's not eating well, he's focusing on his six pack all the all the time he goes to the gym. And then of course there are the men, all this gay gay gym kind of thing. It it's real, man. It's real. Those kind of people, these kind of gays, six pack people are most of them are gay, have gay tendencies. Cause they won't eat. They won't eat. They want to control their body. They want to look in the mirror to see their six pack and body. You know who does that? Women does that. It's I'm, it's fine for women to do that. You know. For a guy to do that, then you are becoming, I say, effeminate, become women, and you are becoming like gay, softy. You don't believe me? Okay, there's so many cases of ma- all of these women getting married to this all the handsome guys with six pack. Turns out later on the guy is either bisexual or straight up gay. I'm telling you. So congratulations again to Pete Davidson and. Thank you guys for just a <laughs> just a silly video on this thing. Remember, it's more important than the China World War Three kind of situation. Have a good day. Peace.